Hey there, internets. I'm Michael, and this is Two Can Play That Game, bringing you our video of how to play the Ultimate Edition Escape from the Aliens in Outer Space. So, what is the game? Well, it is a hidden movement, hidden role game. So, you don't know who is an alien, who is a human, and you don't know where they are. You're trying to figure out all of this while the humans try and escape from this derelict ship that's falling apart and being put into pitch blackness, and the aliens are hunting the ship for the humans because they're infected with this alien virus thing that will turn the humans into aliens if they manage to catch them and kill them. So that's the game. Let's take it to the table for how you actually play. To set up, first thing you want to do is give each player one of these map books here that's laminated wipe clean and one of these dry wipe markers. You're then going to want to pick which of the maps you're going to do. There are eight in this book and the suggested starting one is the first one in the book. Then Take your escape pod cards, and there are five of these, and they have the yellow symbol here on the back. And you just want to shuffle those up and have them in a stack near the table. Then you want to get your character cards and split them into two piles. One for your blue humans and one for your red aliens. Then shuffle these up and deal out a number equal to half the number of players of each of these cards. So if it was a two player game, you'd do one of each. If it was a four player game, you'd do two of each. If there's an odd number of players, do more of the red cards than you would of the blue cards. With these, you'll then shuffle up what you've got and then deal one to each player. They'll keep this secret and this will tell them whether they are on the alien side or the human side and additionally which specific crew member they are. You can find in the rule book a list of all the different crew members. And the type of crew member you are will give you a special ability. Note that it's recommended for first time players that you don't use these, you just pay attention to the colour of cards. So here I was dealt a human and you can tell based off this symbol which one I am. So the soldier. Once that's done, you're done with the rest of the character cards and they can go back in the box. Next, take your dangerous sector cards, which are the ones with this grey symbol on the back and shuffle those all together and put them as a draw pile in the middle of the table. And that's the game set up, ready to play. All you need to do is randomly determine who your first player will be. So what are you actually doing in Escape from the Aliens in Outer Space? Well, you are in outer space, you are stranded on this ship and all the systems are failing, it's pitch black, there's been an outbreak of this alien mutagenic virus that turns humans into aliens and you need to, if you're a human, get to one of the escape pods. And these are numbered one, two, three or four on each of the maps. When you, as a human, reach the space with an escape pod on, you'll turn over the escape pod card. If it's green, you've escaped and you win. If, however, you turn it over and it's red, the escape pod is broken. That means that no one can use that number of escape pod exit during the rest of the game, and you'll have to get to a different one. If you take a green card, again, your number that you use to escape becomes unavailable to the other human players. But if it's a red, you need to go in search of a working escape pod. So as a human player, you will start in this human sector here. And it does have a little guide here that tells you that that's the starting human sector, that you have quiet sectors that are the clear ones and the gray ones are your dangerous sectors. Also, alien sector is marked and that is where the alien players will all start. Each of the sectors is labeled with a letter and a number and this is so you can reference where you are and each turn you will write down which sector you move to 
on your board. So you'll be keeping this kind of hidden away from all the other players, but so that you can see it and reference it. And you can also make notes on the map here of where you think other people are. You must move every turn. Now, where you move is up to you. As a human, you can only move one sector. So starting the game, the humans can only move to K08, K09, L09, M09, or M08, because those are the only ones adjacent to the human sector. However, the aliens can move between one and two sectors, and they'll only draw the card for the sector they finish on. So they have the option of N06, N05, M05, L04, K05, J05, J06, K06, L05 and M06. So a lot more options there. The, the aliens are much faster in this game, but they have the more difficult job because the humans don't have to locate the aliens in order to reach the escape pods because they know where those are. Whereas the aliens, to win the game, they have to track down the humans and kill them. So on a turn, once you've moved into a sector, you will then declare for that sector. So it tells you at the bottom here that if you move into one of the white sectors, you will simply declare silent sector. So you will move, you'll write down where you have moved to here. If that space is white, you will say silent sector. And if you moved to a gray space, you would draw a dangerous sector card. So you'd literally take the top card off of this deck and look at it without showing it to any of the other players. What you will then do will depend on the card that you have drawn. So there are four possible outcomes. And these are actually listed, or at least sort of all listed, at the top of this grid here. So. You've got the first three, which are the basic ones. So let's talk about those. And those are what you would use in the basic game. Then underneath, you've got the items that make up the fourth one. And these are not recommended for starting games. So the first one you have here is the red card that has this foot down symbol. So if you draw this card, you don't show it to anyone. You'll simply draw it, look at it, and then you must announce the sector that you have moved to so that you would have written down on your player board here. Then once you've done that, you discard the card face down so that no one can see it. If you drew the green card, then you would announce the coordinates of any sector. So with the red one, you would say noise in sector and whichever sector you move to. In this case, you can bluff and say a different sector, or you can double bluff and say the sector that you move to. So let's say I move to M08, I could say noise in sector K08. So I actually moved here, but they might think I moved here. And then again, as with the red ones, you discard that immediately face down. The final option, is that you draw a white card with this symbol here. And in this case, you will say silence in all sectors. And, with, and you keep this card in your hand without showing it to any players. And the reason for this is some of those white cards will be items. And this you can tell because they have a picture on them and a symbol in the top left here. And you can reference your sh sheet that you have to see what each of those different items might do. If you need a bit more depth on those, there is a list in the instruction manual that will tell you what each of them are in detail. As with the plain ones, you keep these hidden in your hand so that no one knows if you do have an item or if you don't. When you can play the items will depend on the item. And if you look at the detailed description, that'll give more information on that. However, when you choose to play an item, you must show it to all players so that they can see that you have played it and you also must note it down on the turn that you have played it. If you're a human, that would be your turn. You'd literally move, announce based on what you have to announce, and then play would pass to the left. 
However, if you're an alien, it's important to note that you can't use the items, but you still do collect them and you still do say Silent Sector when you collect them. Also, as I said before, the aliens have a choice between moving one space or two spaces. Additionally, they have another option, so they can't use items, but what they can do is attack the sector they've moved into. So it doesn't matter if they've moved one or two sectors, they can, rather than drawing a dangerous sector card if they would need to, announce attack in sector and then the sector number that they have moved to. If there are any creatures, be them human or alien, in that sector, they are killed. Now, if a human dies, they come back as an alien starting in the alien sector. They'll still keep their original card, but they lose their ability and they are now just a basic alien with no ability trying to hunt down the rest of the humans. If an alien dies, they are eliminated from the game. So the aliens will win when either all the humans are dead and have become aliens, or if you run out of turns. So each game is made up of a maximum of 40 turns as listed on the board here for you to note down. If you get to turn 40 and there are still humans trapped on the ship, then the aliens win. So let's just go through a example turn just to make this a bit clearer. So you'll be playing as me, the human here. So we'll start our turn and we will move to K09. So we write down K09 in space one. And that represents that we have moved there. Because this is a white space, we say, Silent Sector. So our opponents know that we have moved to one of three spaces at this point. Then it would be the alien's turn. And the alien draws a dangerous sector card. And then they discard it, saying, Noise in Sector N06. So we make a note here that there might be an alien there. If there were other players, they would then take their turns until it got back round to us and we would choose where to move from K09 here. So let's move into one of these dangerous sectors. Let's go for J09. And we then draw a dangerous sector card. And it's a white card and it's an item. So the fact that it's an item doesn't change what we do. Because it's white, we simply put it in our hand and say, silence in all sectors. Then it would be the alien's turn again. And the alien is going to take a dangerous sector card. And we'll then discard the card, announcing noise in sector I08. So we've had a possible noise here and then a possible noise here. So one of those might be a bluff or both of them might be a bluff. But it's now our turn again and we're going to move to I10. Which is again a dangerous sector. So we draw a dangerous sector card. and We get a green one. So we get to say noise in a sector and we're going to say noise in sector 008. So we've given a red herring that we're over this way somewhere. And this is how the game will proceed until either the human reaches the escape pod and gets a green one or until the alien has killed the human or until the turns have all run out. And that is how you play. Escape from the Aliens in Outer Space. I do hope you've enjoyed this video, of course. If you have, do please check out the rest of the videos on the channel, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends and family, as well as taking a look at us on social media. You can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.